everybody, I am here for my One Book July setup video. Now, if you've watched any of my videos in the past for One Book July, you'll think, hey, this looks kind of familiar to something you were using one year for One Book July. Well, this is a Foxy Fix Spice in the Time T-H-Y-M-E leather, that beautiful green, greenish, grayish color, and uh, it is a number zero, or a micro. Last year was the go big or go home, <laughs> sort of a, you know, go big, you know, sort of a, a year, and this year I'm doing things a little bit smaller. Um, Vicky, Miss Vicky, she, um, released her video the other day where she was talking about how everyone is going to be focusing that are on the team. Miss Vicky, Carrie Harling, Romany, and I know there's someone new that came in last year when they were doing uh, digital planning. They're going to be focusing on the bullet journal method book. I got that book towards the end of last year and even bought the digital version of it and even bought the um, audio book and read it and devoured it and I use quite a little bit of it so I'm looking forward to reviewing that book again this month but I'm going to be doing all of my bullet journaling in this little notebook here. So there are some things that I'm doing that are exactly like the old the very first year they did it. One notebook, one pen. So this is gonna be my notebook. And this is gonna be like the main pen that I use for my planning portion of it. I'm taking some art classes with Mindy Lacefield online and I need variety of pens and pencils and paints for that. So unfortunately I'm not gonna be doing getting rid of that stuff, but this will be the one pen I use for planning. It is a Coeco Sport and it is a ballpoint pen, and I have blue in it right now, and I have black refills for it. So that is my pen. Um, if I do use a highlighter, it'll be one of my mild liners, and most likely it'll be the green one that I use for everything just because of um, what I, that's what I do. So let's take a look inside and see what all I have going on. So the first thing you'll see is I do have some stickers in here that I'm going to be using, and even a Mindy Lacefield card and an Odd Girl Journal card. Just some stickers that I sometimes use in my planner. Um, I've got some like receipts and cash in the back, and that's one reason why I chose this to use is because of, since I'm using it as an everyday carry, a wallet, and my planner. So the first thing I have is a Foxy Fix dashboard and this right here, a Peaky Dory Design monthly calendar that I've been using all year. I've been using it to keep track of our bills, when they're due and when they get paid, um, repertoire that I've been playing throughout the year, and of course, everything else on such a tiny little calendar. We're almost done with June. There's another one of Mindy's cute little cards. And here's July. So there's that. So this is just a um, monthly calendar with two pages of dot grid before each month, and then a lot of dot grid in the back of the book. So there's that in the back of the dashboard. I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep the dashboard in or not. Now, I have a dot grid insert here. This is a Tomoe River insert made by Paper Penguin Co. and it is 160 pages. So I'm gonna draw up some sort of a weekly spread 
and then use it for bullet journaling for days. And that's why I wanted to go with a dot grid because that's typically what is used and it's what I like actually. And then since this is a wallet, I've got driver's license, faculty IDs, union card, um, insurance, debit card, all of that type of stuff. And then I'm gonna give it a try. I have another Paper Penguin Co. This is another 160 sheets of um, Tomoe River paper, but this is white and it's blank. And this is going to be my journal. I started, let me see if I can find it. The last month, here it is. I started just a little insert just a little micro insert. That's some of that metallic paint from um, Arteza, which I have a video coming out about. Um, and that's one of Mindy's cute stickers. But I just started, you know, doing some little journaling and put some washi tape, some stickers, and just wanted to see if I could use this size. So this is just writing and some stickers. But what I'm going to try, let's see, that's all I did in here. Um, but what I'm gonna try in here is actually do some watercolors, some art journaling, and also some written journaling to see if I can use this. And I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna use other notebooks for my art class, but I'm gonna try to do some of the projects in here just to kind of see what it's like. And here is my little writing board. It is a Taroko Shop one that I cut down <laughs> just so I could give this little notebook a little structure and then also to have something since the Tomoe River paper is so thin. So there you go. You can see just a quick little look at what I am going to try and attempt for One Book July. I just wanted to have a quick little intro and I will link Vicky B's video. I'll link the Facebook group and I'll also link uh, Carrie Harling and Romani because they are the other two ladies that are behind the original One Book July. So, what are you using? Are you gonna use something this small? Would you dare to use something this small? Are you using something bigger? In previous years, I've used A5, I've used Passport, I've used B6. This year, I'm trying Micro. Just a tiny little four by three insert. And we're just going to see where that leads us. Okay. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my week one update of how this is going. Okay, bye-bye.